my dad was very much into Star Wars. VHS was just coming out. And watching those videos over and over is like one of my like first and nicest memories. Walking around the Millennium Falcon, like I didn't have to do any research, I didn't have to read about it. That knowledge is in my head already. The Millennium Falcon is the main vehicle and central location of the entire saga. It's another character in the movie. So one of our biggest challenges with Solo was to take the Falcon and say, OK, this is actually now back in time. What did the Falcon look like when it was under Lando? You might want to buckle up, baby. The Falcon in this film is brand new, which is, you know, really cool to see. to redesign the most iconic looking ship in the galaxy. How far do we go with it? Do we add fins on it? Do we add bigger thrusters on the back? Just a little bit of tongue in cheek. Maybe it's a smoking the bandit. Maybe it's got flames on it. Color palette. We went through yellow, red, and eventually wound up on this blue that had almost like an automotive paint quality to it. We put some bigger fins on the back, almost like a spoiler, just to add a little bit of hot rodness. The script describes it as a sports car in a junkyard. There she is, my pride and joy, the Millennium Falcon. As you can see, they're working on the Millennium Falcon. Lando has his own spin on what the interior decor should look like. It's so much of Lando, Lando's personality. In here, we have kind of the living space. Patent yellow leather. It's pretty great. This right here is a space speaker. We have our degeric board, little hollow chest. We got our navigational system over here. It's very complicated. You don't want to touch this unless you have to. Over here, we have one of my favorite places on the ship, a little food and coffee bar. We took cues for the bar design from earlier films, such as the homestead in episode four, even Rogue One, where you had the kitchen. And then again, apply that kind of Falcon design to it. Lee, our set decorator, found a vast array of very interesting and yet quite sort of 80s looking tech. It's all kind of like coffee machines and maybe cocktail makers. Tech that you can kind of look at it and maybe think you know what kind of purpose it serves. Permission granted to land on platform 327. You see geography inside the ship that you haven't seen before. Such as Lando's quarters. We took ideas from other areas that we've seen before in the Falcon, such as the bed that's over the chess table, and the kind of medical bay that we see in episode seven, which again was sort of new for that film. In between takes, I tend to hang out, and I'll just sleep in there, just hang out. Lando, like, puts his shoes in here. All your weights in space have to be square, because otherwise they roll all over the place. Think about it. I want to listen to tunes privately. The silver headphones are a nod to the silver headphones that you see in episode four. We thought maybe it'd be fun to just suggest that those headphones have been kicking around for a while. But I think the best part of the entire ship might be the closet with all my capes. We get into the mechanics of the Falcon with a small portion of the engine room. Which is a new addition for this film, but it's perhaps only even a hint of the kind of inner workings of the ship. If I was flying through space, this is definitely the way I'd want to do it. It's a great party ship. It would be so nice to just like land somewhere and just put the ramp down and just let people hang out in here. It's actually really cool. This is the original well, not the original, original Falcon. But it was the Falcon set that we built on episode seven. If we were to take down certain bits of this set, the older pieces of the set are still there. Beneath this facade is still the Falcon they know and love. Hey, how are you doing? How are you? How are you? Nice to meet you. You look around and you say to yourself, here I am on the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> 
This is Star Wars. There you go. Okay, thank you. I just gotta get one of those. You can't help but, but pinch yourself. 